Super excited to be catching up with one of my favorite people, Kieran, mm -hmm. on the call today because we got some exciting news and it's always good to share some positive stuff, isn't it? Because um, if I kind of wind the clock back just a little bit, Kieran, um, around this time last year, I think it was in 2020, in the midst of the pandemic, we were kind of like getting together as a, as a board in a strategic workshop. And one of the things we all agreed on is that we were going to take this ment mental shift from playing not to lose amongst everything into a playing to win mentality. And from that kind of gave birth to some exciting stuff we've been working on over the last 12 months. That's right. It's only taken a year, maybe a little bit longer, but that's right, Tony. Uh, under your excellent presidency last year um, and being the brand manager as you are, that's your old company, of course, um, we set forth on a, a very ambitious task, not only to reimagine the brand of PSA uh, and also how we could express that through um, how we look externally, whether that be through our collateral banners when you walk into an event, but also so the all important website and that was a big uh one of the things you really wanted to do wasn't it tony well it was and i and i, and I suppose at the very beginning when i took over the uh the, the leadership role as, as national president i did make that statement um yes. <laughs> in front of the, the cast Bold of thousands statement. That i will bring you a new website but the interesting <laughs> thing is you know under the leadership of um michael mcqueen we did change our brand as such. You know, we, we yeah. brought out this new, we changed our name, became Professional Speakers Australia, but nothing much changed after that. Like we, we kind of rebadged ourselves, but we didn't sort of move along. Um, and I think we wanted to really kind of create this fresh new look to, to come out of this, I, I say, you know, positively come out of the pandemic, but obviously just to look at a fresh new look, uh, you know, that celebrates our 25 year history. And you're right, it, it was a website, but it was also this brand refresh. And I think you got very passionate. I mean, I know you're as passionate as I am about branding. Um, we we kind of live that stuff. Yeah. Um, so what was it, what, what did you go around? Because you really championed this whole project. Once I made that official public announcement, we were gonna do it. You kind of took the ball mm -hmm. by the horns and took it from there. So. You know, where, where did you go from that after that strategic workshop? Yes, I did. And absolutely no small task indeed. <laughs> now, when it came to the brand, I think, as you said, transitioning to Professional Speakers Australia was such a, uh, a significant move um, when Michael took that over. And where we went to in the last, in the years since then was we, it was in a way it was almost one dimensional and we wanted to it, be able to express ourselves um, in a way that was, you know, had that multi-dimensional uh, perspective. And what does that mean? You know, we had the state events, so we had national events, especially when the pandemic hit. We had those fantastic national virtual events. We had convention. Uh, we've got platform professionals. You know, it really has expanded out to uh, the breadth of what we do, how we help, and the kind of services that we provide. Uh, we wanted to be able to add more dimension to the brand. And so what that meant was we were able to look at more colours um, and just to freshen up, I guess, the look of the brand um, and then also have how we'd express that through uh, a fresh new look through collateral. So hopefully one day, you know, updated um, lanyards that you'll wear with your name on it and the new brand through to banners. Um, and of course, the all important website. Now, you know, the websites, you know, and I know how frequently websites change and where we were at with our previous website, although it had all the up-to-date information, thanks to Margaret and Leslie and the team, um, what we were missing was um, a fresh and updated look. And so uh, that was such an important pillar to work on. Um, and so we're pretty happy with how that's, uh, that's landed at the moment. Yeah, no, it's super exciting. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, hats off to you and all the team, you know, across the board that have been involved, because I think, I don't know, really anybody, if I think of the top of my head that hasn't had a touch point at some point in this project over the last 12 yes. months. Um, but also just just even as simple as the um, message you just gave about the different colours, like I think folks need to understand like how important that is yes. from a communications thing. Like we found like yes. in surveys that we've done, a lot of people were missing important emails or invitations to events because we've got a lot going on in this organisation, which is yeah. exciting. But having this colour coding and this kind of brand refresh, I think will help communications be a lot simpler, do you feel, in, in terms of getting our message out and people not missing anything? Absolutely. That was a 
very key objective that we were working on through the out this brand refresh and we uh, we really realized it last year when COVID hit because we did have those fantastic national events um, and I, I felt like there were so many events coming out on Facebook uh, and the emails that it was almost hard to see which was which um, and so when we were working with the agency we worked with an agency called Beach & Co that was a big part of the brief was how can we create distinctiveness and so what we did was we added some extra colors into the palette as they call it um, so beyond the royal blue we've also got an orange and a yellow and a, another couple of shades of blue and so that way it will be really distinctive so when you see a state event you'll see it in the royal blue um, when you see the convention um, communications it's yellow when there's a special announcement it's orange um, and when there's a darker navy blue um, that's the national events so you know I think it'll take all of us a little bit of getting used to um, especially for our amazing volunteers and state presidents um, who are also using it to communicate but I the the intent is that it will be able to be distinctive to see all the different aspects and programs and services that we provide yeah 100 percent, and, and i think michael will be uh safe to know that we haven't adjusted the logo mm -hmm. too much we haven't gone and changed no. the traditional logo we just enhanced it with this this beautiful palette as you called it of, of colors but let's talk about the website because that's that's the big yes. output i suppose of everything um you know things like easy navigation is a bit is a big thing you know with some of our content i think on the old website was kind of buried a little bit and hard to find there was some refreshing of content i think you did i mean maybe just talk us through you know what what, what does this transition look like so when folks look at it they'd yeah. be able to firstly visually they'd be able to see it's different but what else have you gone through in terms of the architecture and the experience i suppose of the new site Yes, definitely. And as you said there, I think that usability, so being able to navigate around was very important. So we went through a process of looking at which pages were most used and which ones were hardly ever looked at. And so that was a bit of a consolidation. Um, it was also about how do we make things easy to find? So that was a key aspect that we were uh, working through. And of course, the nuance of some aspects and member benefits only. So how do we make that as well? So that was sort of of, you know use navigation and also um, be able to put the right information there and then when it comes to the visual aspect I think that um, websites previously were very text heavy um, and websites today are very image uh, heavy of course um, it makes it easy to navigate it looks good um, and the intent around the look was that we want to express that we're premium on the outside we're professional speakers uh, we're a premium organization but we're real there's a community feel on the inside um, so through the imagery and the photos that we've used that's really the intent that we're trying to communicate and part of the way we did that was I did a call out on the Facebook group um, and also to a number of key leaders do you have any photos because we want to feature you our members throughout the site so our key uh, where we were looking for them was our source was from a uh, conventions and events that we've had recent photos that we've had taken but then also our members ourselves so we hope that um, you'll be able to see yourself and that as other people come to the site they'll be able to see some of the representative members who are part of the organization definitely and I think what what was really nice as well Kieran is how you've got the balance right between you know mm -hmm. communication for our members because we're a member of organization first and foremost and you know things like the accreditation pathways and opportunities to put in for awards and everything is easier to find now for members but you've also balanced that up with information for people who are considering joining our organization so it's now works really well I think the experience for both parties whether you're a member or becoming a member I think works really really well well, hope so. And I should just say there, even things like, um, you know, we've got some incredible member benefits that are available to our members. And so, as you said there, if you're um, looking at the site for the first time, you just want the information. But once you become a member, it's like, well, how do I access those resources? And so we've done some very quick, um, very clever things on the back end where you can log in and then actually see that information, how to access those resources as well. Because I think on the previous site, I just felt like you did this loop. It was like, you find out about it and then you end up at the login and you're back in this loop it's like ah so hopefully yes. that um that experience is better and so people can actually see the available to them
Yeah, I think the original plan was we didn't want people to leave. We just wanted to go round and round and round in circles, but yes, not, actually do, right. not actually do anything. <laughs> um, so all, all that's left to say is that the site is now live because as we're speaking, the site is up. So whilst you're watching this video, yes. the next stage is to go to professionalspeakers.org.au. You probably should already have that uh, listed as one of your hot URLs, but it will be hotter than ever because we've got this fantastic website. So congrats to you. It's been great to catch up and just hear a bit of the story about the background of it um, but a big thanks to everybody involved in putting this together and I'm, I'm so excited to be part of this organization with this fresh new look yes and thank you to you Tony for pioneering it um, thank you to Russell Pearson who was the previous uh, president who was definitely involved in some of the earlier stages with the brandy thank you to Margaret and Leslie from the good work group who support our association and to all of you who have hassled badgered and uh, harangued for content um, it's it's a delight and uh, thrilled to see it come to come to completion yeah thank you Karen I think everyone that has been badgered will will agree when they have a look at it it's been well worth <laughs> it because everybody's had a, a touch of it it's a it's a kind of a fabric of our organization and and also thanks to Michael McQueen for starting the journey by changing the logo and the brand um or, or you know back a few years ago but uh, super excited check it out that's professionalspeakers.org.au and as always great to catch up with a wonderful Kieran Zerner thanks guys